Welcome to online English class. This is level two, lesson 21, which starts on June 15th. This is part two. In this video, we're going to learn subject pronouns and object pronouns. So we're learning pronouns today. You are probably watching this video between June 15th and June 21st. This video was filmed on June 13th, 2020. So let's start with a little vocabulary review. So a pronoun, these are pronouns. Pronouns are words that replace names or things. So if I have a story and I say, uh, Charlie goes to work every day. Charlie opens the door. Charlie drives the car. Charlie opens the car door. Charlie turns on the car. Charlie drives to work. I say Charlie a lot there. But if I can, sometimes in some sentences, I can replace Charlie with he because I don't want to say Charlie all the time. I can say Charlie goes to work. He opens the door. He drives the car to work. So we can use pronouns to replace names because sometimes we don't want to say Charlie, 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 Charlie. It's, it's a lot of Charlies. So we can use the pronouns to replace names. Who opened the window? He opened the window. So that is what a pronoun is. We use pronouns to replace names because sometimes we get tired of saying names. There's a lot of names. So we just use pronouns. Well, we have subject pronouns and we have object pronouns. The subject is the person or thing doing the action or the verb. The object is all other nouns, and a noun is a person, place, or thing. So the subject is the noun that's doing the action, and the object is all of the other nouns in the sentence. So let's use this sentence for an example. Charlie opened the window. Let's identify the subject and the objects. Let's start with, by identifying the verb. What is the verb or the action in this sentence? The verb is opened. So the action in this sentence is opened. Okay. And the nouns, the nouns will be in green. The nouns are Charlie, because Charlie is a person, and window. A window is a thing. So Charlie opened the window. Let's identify the subject. The subject is the person or thing doing the action, the verb. The verb in this sentence is opened. So who opened? Charlie opened. So Charlie is the subject. Charlie is the subject of the sentence. Charlie opened. So the window is the object. The object is all other nouns. Okay, so let's replace Charlie opened the window with pronouns. We have subject pronouns. Charlie, Charlie is a he. Charlie can be a he or a she, but in this sentence, Charlie is a he. He opened the window. He opened the window. Okay? So the window is it. Object pronoun, it. So because Charlie is the subject, we use the left side, the subject pronouns. Because the window is the object or all other nouns, we use the object pronouns on the right. We use it. So we say he opened it. Let's, let's replace this sentence with pronouns. Nick and Sam bought the sofa. Nick and Sam bought the sofa. So first, let's identify the verb. The verb in this sentence is bought. Nick and Sam bought the sofa. Okay? Let's identify all of the nouns. The nouns are Nick 
Sam and the sofa. Okay, so the subject is the person or thing doing the action. So the action is bought. So who bought? Nick and Sam bought. So Nick and Sam are the subject. So the sofa is the object. Okay, so let's replace Nick and Sam. Nick and Sam are the subject. So let's see, Nick and Sam are two people, so we want to use they. They bought the sofa. The sofa is the object, so we want to use the object pronoun. We just say it, it's the same, it and it. So we have Nick and Sam bought the sofa. They bought it. Okay, so what about Cora called her father? Cora called her father. Let's identify the verb. The verb is called, okay? And the nouns are Cora and her father. So, the subject is the person or thing that's doing the action, and the action is called. So, Cora called. So, Cora is the subject. And her father is the object. Okay, so let's replace Cora and her father with pronouns. Cora is the subject, so we use the subject pronouns. We use she. She called her father. Her father is the object, so we use the object pronouns. Her father, him. Cora called her father, Cora called him. Okay, so this is a longer sentence. It says, will Vicky take the kids to school tomorrow? Will Vicky take the kids to school tomorrow? Let's identify the verb. The verb in this sentence is will take. Because it's a question, we put will before the subject. Because it's a question, we switch the subject and the word will. So will Vicky take the kids to school tomorrow? And then the nouns are Vicky, the kids, Oh, and school, but we're not talking about school right now. We are only looking at the kids. Okay, so let's identify the subject. The verb is will take. So who will take? Vicky will take. So Vicky is the subject. The kids is the object. The sentence, this part of the sentence, to school tomorrow, we keep the same. We don't change it. So, now we can change, we can change Vicky and the kids to pronouns. So we have will. Vicky is the subject, so we use the subject pronouns. Vicky, she. So, will she take, will she take the kids? The kids is a lot of people. So, we say them, they, them. For objects, we use them. And then, to school tomorrow, we keep the same.
Will she take them to school tomorrow? So, the original sentence was, Will Vicky take the kids to school tomorrow? Then we replace Vicky and the kids with she and them. Will she take them to school tomorrow? Okay, now we have Teresa returned the books to the library. Let's identify the verb. The verb in this sentence is returned. Returned means to give something back. Okay, and the nouns are Teresa and the books. Okay, so let's identify the subject. The verb is returned. So who returned? Teresa returned. So Teresa is the subject. Okay, Teresa returned what? What did she return? She returned the books. So the books is the object. To the library, we want to keep this the same. So we only want to change these words. So Teresa is the subject. We use she. She returned the books. The books is the object. Because there's more than one, we don't use it, we use them. She returned them to the library. She returned them to the library. We say them because there's more than one book. Okay, the next sentence has a frequency word. And maybe you remember if the frequency words from Unit 3 and Unit 5. So if you need to review, I'm on page 62. The frequency words are always, usually, often, sometimes, rarely, and never. And when we have a frequency word, we write the sentence in the present. If there's a frequency word, the sentence is always in the present. So this sentence is, Dad usually wakes Alex and me up before 9 a.m. Let's identify the verb. The verb is wakes. The nouns are dad, Alex, and me. Okay, so the verb is wakes. So who wakes? Who says, get up, you need to get up? Dad does. So dad is the subject. Who does he wake up? Who does he wake up? He wakes up Alex and me. So object object okay so let's replace dad and alex and me so dad is the subject so with the subject we can say he he usually wakes Alex and me. Alex and me are objects, so we use object pronouns. We have Alex and we have me. So because, because I am part of this, we can use we or us for objects. So us. He usually wakes us up before 9 a.m. He usually wakes us, us is Alex and me, he usually wakes us up before 9 a.m. Okay, last sentence, Sue probably won't go to the concert. What's the verb in the sentence? The verb is won't go. And the nouns are Sue and the concert. Okay, so 
won't go. Who won't go? Sue won't go. So Sue is the subject. The concert is the object. Okay, so Sue is the subject. So the subject pronoun for Sue is she. She probably won't go to the concert. The concert is the object. So the object pronoun for the concert is it. She probably won't go to it. Okay, so let's talk about some pronouns. We have you. In English, we have two types of you. We have you for one person, and we have you for many people. In English, it's the same word, you and you. We can use you when we're talking to one person, and we can use you when we talk to many people. And then we have the word they. They is when we talk to many people. But we can also use the word they to talk about one person. We can use they when we talk to one person if we don't, if we don't know if we can use he or she. So we use the word they if we don't know if we can use he or she. So if we don't know if this person is a man or a woman, we can say they. So for example, next week, we will have a new student. Next week, we will have a new student. They are from Mexico. Next week, we will have a new student. We have a new student. There's only one, only one person. But we don't know if this person uses he or she. We don't know if this is a man or a woman or if they use he or she. We don't know. So we say they. They are from Mexico because we can't say he is from Mexico or she is from Mexico because we don't know which one they use. So we just say they. They are from Mexico. So we can use they when we don't know if we use he or she. We can also say, we should have a welcome card for them. We should have a well, we should make, we should make a welcome card for them. So this card says, welcome, welcome to class, or welcome to America, for them. Again, this is one person. And we're using the object pronouns. So we can say for him or for her, but because we don't know, we can say them. So in English, if we don't know someone's pronouns, we can say, we can say, he or she is from Mexico. Or we can say they are from Mexico. Same thing. But 
I like to use they are from Mexico. I like this one better. We can also say we have books for him or her. Or we can say we have books for them. So this is still one person, but we don't know which pronouns they use. So we say he or she, or we say they. I like to say they. We have books for him or her. We have books for them.